need some chocolate, some graham crackers, some butter, some marshmallows, and some powdered sugar. Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is take six tablespoons of butter and melt it in the microwave. While that's melting in the microwave, you're going to take seven graham crackers and smash them up. Now that they're all smashed up, we are going to combine all the ingredients. We're going to combine a quarter cup of powdered sugar, with the graham crackers and the very hot melted butter. And you're gonna wanna stir that all up till it's nice and crumbly. This recipe will make six regular muffin sized s'mores. Once it's all crumbly and mixed together, you're going to put it in the muffin tins that's been lightly greased. Mine looks sad, sorry. Okay, this will make enough for six big muffins. So you're gonna wanna take, I used an eighth of a cup and pushed, you, you push the center down. Try to pack it as tightly as possible and push the center down to make a cup. You want to make a little divot in the middle so that you can put the chocolate in there. Then when you've completely smashed it all in there, you're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about four to five minutes or until the edges are golden brown. While that's baking, you're going to break up your chocolate. You need six pieces of chocolate. Now that the edges are all golden brown, we're gonna take our chocolate and place them in the center of our muffin or our graham cracker crust. Then we're gonna take our marshmallows and place them on top of the chocolate. Try to keep them so that they won't tip over. They should stick to the chocolate. Then when you're done with the marshmallows on the top, you're gonna to stick it back in the oven for another two minutes or until the marshmallows are soft. And then if you want them to be a little brown, you can stick the broiler on them for another couple minutes. So this is what they look like after they've been under the broiler for a few more minutes. And then I just take my spoon that I used and I smash the marshmallows down. You're gonna put them on a cooling rack for 15 minutes to let them cool and then they'll pop right out with a fork. So this is what they look like after they've cooled and you've popped them out. I just took a fork and popped them out of the muffin tin. Um, they are ready to eat after they've cooled and I hope you enjoy and the next little video clip will show how gooey they are. I hope you really enjoy this recipe. Mm -hmm. 